of the time, but he's good all of the time. Scripture says, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endureth forever. His love endureth forever. His mercy is always. His love is always. His mercy is continuously. His love is continuously. His mercy is day after day. His love is day after day. He is always merciful. Bless the Lord always. In the good times and the bad times, when you feel like it, when you don't feel like it, bless the Lord. Not just when it's Thanksgiving time. We are to have the attitude of gratitude all the time. We should always have this attitude to bless the Lord. His benefits. That means don't forget what the Lord has done for you. Don't forget what God has done. Forget not his benefits. This season, I, you can almost say you need to count your blessings. When, you, when you're remembering what the Lord has done, you're counting your blessings. See what the Lord has done. Maybe you wouldn't be so mean if you could just remember all that God has blessed you with. All have got ways God has made for you, the way God has healed your body, went through some trials and tribulations this year alone. Bless the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. I want to get into a story. Let's go to Luke 17. There met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar. Mm. Ten men that were lepers that stood afar. The reason why they stood afar is because when you had leprosy, you couldn't be around everybody else. You had to go afar <laughs> up on me. If you know who Jesus is, go to Jesus. Don't cry out to me. <laughs> Don't cry out to your neighbor, your fellow man. If you know, they saw Jesus and they cried out to him. That's some of our problem. We're crying out to the wrong people. I Here we go. And when they saw him, this is the 14th verse in Luke 17. And when they saw them, he said unto them, go show yourselves unto the priest. As they went, they were cleansed. As they went, they were cleansed. A lot of times, we want God uh, to bless us right away. God, bless me first, and then I'll go forth. <laughs> God, do it for me first, and then I'll go forward uh, with what you told me to do. Because you told me to go show myself to the priest. But God, did you heal me? Did you heal me first? Heal me first, then I'll go to the priest. That's how logical we think. But no, as they went, they were healed. Sometimes we have to walk by faith. Not really sometimes. All the time. We got to walk by faith and not by sight. As you go, you will be healed. As you step out on faith, things will come into play. Can I be the one that always remember to give God thanks, to give God praise for the things that he has done? Can I be the one to forget not his benefits. My God. Can I be the one to not forget what the Lord has done for me? I know your attitude affects your altitude. <laughs> you don't mind doing things for people um, when they're grateful. And I just believe God feels that same way. Be grateful for their part. God might bless you with a house. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the piece of chicken. God might bless you with a pork chop. <laughs> Be grateful for the pork chop. Here comes the steak. Be grateful for whatever state that you might be in. I know that the holidays, and, and I'm pretty much done, and I know that the holidays are hard for some people because they are without um, people who they are used to being with uh, for the majority of their lives, family and friends. Some of them have gone on to glory. Some of them have gone on um, to a different life. <laughs> Gladys Knight says, he's leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. She said, I'd rather go on that train and be in his world than to live without him and mine. And some of us are experiencing living life 
without certain family, without certain friends. I want to encourage you to be encouraged on today. Don't let nothing bring you down. Um, I suggest to you to just take a little time. Count your blessings. See what the Lord has done. Count your blessings. And name them one by one. Count your blessings. It might cheer you up. Count your blessings. And the scripture says, forget not his benefits. Count your blessings.